Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Stephen Kane. I help people with peripheral neuropathy get out of pain and back to doing the things that they love doing. One of the ways that I help you do this is by connecting you with the right people, products, and services that can all help you get better. And today we are extremely lucky to be joined by Nicole Dye. She is the owner of Quality Plus Essentials. They create CBD and hemp oil products that help people with their neuropathy and other types of chronic pain get better. She's been doing this for years and uh, not only does she own the company, but she also works with her customers. She's on the phone, on email, on social media, regularly interacting with people and figuring out what works best for them and giving them guidance. So she has a lot of experience in understanding this field and what works best for people. So thank you very much for joining us, Nicole. Thank you for having me, Dr. Kane. Absolutely. Uh, so first question is just how, how you got into this field of, of working with CBD oil and, and related products to help people with their pain. associated with uh, cannabis. So uh, a couple years ago, uh, a friend of mine introduced CBD oil to me, and I thought, what's CBD oil? And so I just dove in and, and started researching and figuring out all about CBD oil, what the benefits were, how it worked, um, and experimented with some products and found uh one in particular that helps with my pain, it helps me with my anxiety, um, lowering my blood pressure. It, it's just all around has been a benefit. My main purpose for taking it is pain, but um, it helped in a lot of different areas of my life. And what was that product that, that helped you out? Um, well, I take a 25 milligram uh, raw hemp capsule. Okay. Um, I prefer capsules because I don't like the taste of the oil, but uh, products come in different concentrations. You can get a five milligram, a 10 milligram, 50 milligram. Um, it's just, I, for my body, the 25 milligram capsules just work the best. Okay, fantastic. Uh, so so first thing, just to, to clear up, because I know some people have some misconceptions about it, the legality of uh, CBD oil or CBD products uh, where, where are we at that, with that in terms of the United States as well as other countries? Well, in the United States, uh, because hemp CBD products have little to no THC, less than 0.3%, um, it's legal to ship across state lines. Now, the legality by state differs. Um, I know a lot of uh, states are accepting CBD and saying specifically that it's legal. Others are kind of ignoring it and they haven't said whether it's legal or not legal. Um, it all depends on what state you live in. Uh, what I tell people just to be on the safe side is if you're unsure, don't travel with your CBD, don't have it out um, where anybody can see it. Um, try and keep it at home. Um, don't show it to, you know, a peace officer. <laughs> right. Just kind of use some common sense when dealing with it. I mean, I live in California and uh, cannabis is legal recreationally, marijuana. Right. And I still wouldn't show a police officer my bottle of CBD oil. Okay, interesting. You just never know how they're going to respond. Okay. Uh, so for people that, that want to get it, though, if they want to have it, order it, ship to them, anywhere in the United States, they, they can have it shipped to them. Just once they get it shipped to them, they just keep it to themselves, keep it indoors, don't go say, hey, look what I... Just, okay. Yeah, that's what I recommend. All right. Very good. And uh, how about uh, internationally, outside the United States? Internationally, it's also, it varies from country to country. Um, I know countries like Australia and um, I believe it is uh, Belgium uh, it's not legal it's not legal at all um, countries like the UK it is legal um, it, it just varies okay okay so people outside the United States just check their uh, you know check with the country check their own laws and if it is permissible then they can have it ordered and, and shipped to them definitely not by my company but there are companies out there that will ship from the United States into different countries 
Okay, okay, fabulous. Okay, so that, now they got that. Oh, and also, um, just to perhaps re reinstate one, one more time, so the um, so the products that, that you create, they have such a, a small amount of THC or just CBD as a whole that people are not going to feel any psychedelic effects. They're not going to get that marijuana high that, that they would with, you know, if they were to, to smoke marijuana or uh, along those lines, correct? That, that is absolutely correct. Uh, CBD is non-psychoactive. Um, THC is the cannabinoid that actually creates that high. Mm -hmm. um, with a small amount of THC, even if it were enough to make a person feel high, the amount of CBD in that product would offset that high anyway. So okay. um, the THC is so small that it wouldn't, but even if it did, the CBD would not allow it to affect your brain and make you foggy or anything like Fantastic. that. Fantastic, yeah, because that's definitely a concern I'm, I'm sure a lot of people would have if they have to go to work or they're, you know, just for whatever situation they need to drive, that they still have their, you know, mental faculties in, in, intact. So uh, good to, good, and good. when I'm asked that question about driving, I say after you take CBD, you're going to drive exactly how you did before you took CBD, so... <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> touche, well put. <laughs> uh, so in terms of the, the benefits that, that people can get from uh, taking CBD oil, just for, kind of from a, from a broad perspective, not so much, you know, neuropathy or, or pain, just kind of what, uh, what, what does it do for the body? How, what, what benefits as a whole do people get from it? Well, CBD acts as uh, anti-inflammatory in the body. Um, so, you know, people that have breathing problems, um, it goes into the bronchial tubes and helps reduce the inflammation, kind of opens up the airways um, so that they can get a better breath. Um, helps lower blood pressure, uh, anxiety, it can help reduce anxiety. Um, it works with our endocannabinoid system, which mm -hmm. is um, uh, like a freeway of receptors throughout our body. And the CBD and the THC uh, work with those receptors to help our body function better, uh, to get us more into a state of homeostasis. Beautiful, beautiful. And in terms of people specifically with chronic pain, I, mean, I know for sure on, on my end, when I'm working with people that have neuropathy or other forms of chronic pain, that lowering inflammation and probably at least 90% of people is just like a very important thing to do, especially if you can do it naturally without having to take like a, a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory or some type of drug that is guaranteed going to have side effects and you know cause damage to the liver to the kidneys so uh, you know pretty much any natural way that's going to help to lower inflammation it, you know tends to be a, a real good thing for people with uh, that are experiencing chronic pain whether it's neuropathy pain or fibromyalgia or, or anything along those lines um, uh, any, anything else to, to add in terms of when it comes to pain management from a anti-inflammatory or just in, in how the CBD helps people out No. Okay. <laughs> that, that's essentially how, 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 I, how I think of it. I, I don't have much to add more <laughs> either. It's that lowering in the infl inflammation, like similar to an anti-inflammatory diet, it's a wonderful thing to um, just improve circulation and, and you know, reduce the neuropathic pain. So yeah, be beautiful. Uh, and I've... Uh, I've seen, you know, various stories, various, uh, you know, responses, you know, I've, on, on some ends, I've seen people like, you know, a couple days later after taking it, their pain's like 80% gone. It's like, like a miracle, like, oh my God, like this just, you know, and then other people, it's like, yeah, yeah I, I didn't really notice, notice that much. And all, all throughout, um, is there any way that someone might have any sort of sense as to where they would fall in that spectrum? Is it is this someone's really going to help out or little? or like, how, how would someone perhaps gauge that? Um, well, it, it's difficult to gauge because CBD, uh, each person is going to respond to it differently. And some of them, like you said, can take it. Um, that first dose, they're noticing, you know, a reduction in their pain or a reduction in their anxiety or whatever. Um, for other people, it takes up to a month of taking the same product and working, experimenting with your dose, finding that perfect dose, and it could take you know up to a month to actually start feeling some of the relief. Um, from my personal experience, um, I started using CBD um, and experimenting with different products. I went through probably uh, seven or eight products. Um, 
experiment, experimenting with the dose. And I wasn't getting that reduction in pain that I was looking for and my main purpose for using CBD, but I was getting benefits on the side, like oh. the reduction um, of my blood pressure, anxiety, um, and, and other things. So when I finally found my 25 milligram raw capsules, all of a sudden, the first dose I took, it was like a weight was just like lifted off my shoulders. My stress levels went down, my pain was reduced, and it just felt wonderful. And it was like, ah, I finally found it. But it did take me about six months to do it. And some people don't have that that time or that perseverance to get there. But um, I believed in CBD, and so I just kept at it. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you definitely at least had some signs along the way of, like you said, your blood pressure was lower, some other aspects you were, you were getting benefit. Uh, how, what do you think would be a fair amount of time for someone to give CBD oil a fair shot to at least notice we're going to have some of these improvements, you know, subtle or, or not so? Uh, well, I would say give it at least a month. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the ways, say one of your patients was taking it for neuropathy and they're in extreme pain and they're taking the CBD because they want a reduction in pain. However, they may be taking medications for a variety of other um, issues that they're having. Keep a journal. As soon as you start taking CBD, keep a journal and kind of give an overview of how you feel today before you start CBD what medications you're on, what doses, all that kind of stuff. And then every day as you're taking the CBD, write down how much you're taking, what product it is, and how you feel that day. And some, a lot of times the transition is so subtle that you don't realize that you're actually benefiting until you stop taking it. And then all of a sudden everything comes back and you're like, oh my goodness, where's my CBD? Mm -hmm. And it's not that um, you're addicted to CBD or that your body absolutely has to have it. It's just when you don't take it, you're no longer getting that reduction in inflammation. It's no longer working with your body to help stop all these different things from going on. So keeping a journal definitely helps you realize uh, the changes that are happening. Yeah, I'm very glad you said that. I think that's one of the most overlooked but still kind of common sense things that, that people should be doing when it, when it comes to managing their pain is, you know, what, what gets monitored gets managed and uh, to effectively manage your, your, your pain that uh, whether you're taking CBD oil or not, I, I always recommend patients to, to keep, a, keep a log and any variables that are changing, whether you try CBD oil, you exercise more, you change your diet, your medications change, you know, and the more you can pick up on those patterns over time or, or eventually notice like, oh yeah, my pain was at a, you know, an eight out of 10 a, you know, a month ago and now it's at a, at a five out of 10, you know, and, and just like a gradual decrease, like, okay, I guess. So uh, yeah, I think that's excellent advice that people do not get enough is to do that daily journaling that just every, yeah, pick up on the trends. So yeah. wonderful. Are, <clears throat> are there any potential side effects that someone could experience from taking CBD oil? Uh, there are actually. There um, are a few of them, and I wrote them down because I didn't want to forget any of them. Um, if you take too much CBD in a single dose, um, it could cause dizziness, uh, could make you nauseous, um, could make you tired. Uh, you can get diarrhea um, or make you jittery. Um, if you suffer from anxiety, it can increase your anxiety, um, or it can also produce kind of a euphoric feeling. And it's not a high, it's just kind of a state of feeling really good. Okay. Um, but if, if you, you shouldn't feel any different after taking CBD, except for a reduction in pain and, you know, whatever, but that actual feeling of, of feeling euphoric is not what it's supposed to do. So you would know if you feel that you've taken too much. Yeah, and and again, this is uh, um, you know, I applaud you for the approach that you take because you you know you and your, your company you walk people through making sure they're using the right products and the right doses and how they how they scale up to avoid that you know potential sense of dizziness or nauseousness where uh, you know way too many other companies are just like, like all right there you go you know kind of you know figure it out on your own sort of thing so uh, yeah so very very much and I'm I'm on the Facebook page time to time and I, and I see you having these conversations and other people from your company and. 
making sure people are doing it right. So, um, and, and I'm sure this is all on an individual basis, and you know, based off their, you know, who they are, how much they've done before, their 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 body weight size. I'm sure there's many variables. But is there any overarching advice that you could give uh, to to the viewers in, in this video? Uh, well, I always suggest, especially for newbies to CBD, um, is that you start with a very low dose. Uh, one to three milligrams, and you slowly increase that dose, um, you know, depending on um, how your body is responding to it, uh, depends on how fast you can actually increase the dose, but you're only going to increase by a milligram or two um, at a time. Usually, I suggest it's every other day that you increase your dose um, so that you can kind of see how your body's going to respond for those two days, and then mm -hmm. you increase your dose, and for two days, you see how your body responds. Uh, we have some blog articles on our website. Uh, one of them is uh, based on finding your perfect dose. So it goes through that whole process of where you should start and how you should increase. There's also a link to a journal, a sample journal that you can use to kind of keep track of it. Um, and we also have a dosing calculator um, on our website. So you can, when you have your CBD bottle, if you have a 30 milliliter bottle and 300 milligrams of CBD, you can type that information into uh, the calculator and it'll tell you how much CBD you're getting per drop in that bottle mm -hmm. and how much you're getting per drop or full. Okay. So you can, you can kind of gauge your dose um, in that way. Okay, fantastic. And we'll have links for, for all the viewers. We'll have links for these in the description so you can just you know quickly get to the calculator or the website or... Uh, you know um, any of the links that we we end up discussing here in the in the interview. So cool. Um, let's see. W any other just general advice for for people as they that are considering using CBD oil? Uh, well, I would suggest you try it. Um, I want to kind of put this out there. Um, for instance, if you have neuropathy. Oh, I'm going to try CBD oil, and CBD oil is going to wipe out my pain, and everything's going to be wonderful. Well, CBD oil isn't exactly like that. CBD is um, one piece of a puzzle. So if you have neuropathy and you're you want to try CBD, that's wonderful, and more than likely it's going to help your body in a bunch of different ways, and hopefully help reduce the pain as well. But you're also going to have to look at your diet. You're going to have to stay well hydrated. You're going to have to look into other, you know, pieces of equipment or whatever. There are various things that you do together that give you a final result. So I don't want anybody to put all their trust in CBD and say this is going to be my cure because that's not how it works. I, lo I love that, Nicole. I, I respect that so much and uh, I, I just really wish that more people who are, who are selling their products or whatever just had that uh, that more authentic, real message that yes, this can help, but it's, as you said, verbatim, that's what I say too, it's, it's a piece to the puzzle. And it, people should really take that holistic approach, everything they can possibly do to improve upon the health of their nerves, get them functioning better. As you said, you know, diet plays a huge role, exercise is a huge role. There's Plenty of ways you can stimulate the nerves, and there's just uh, even things like meditation, sleep, just that whole holistic approach. Uh, and I do think that CBD oil for a lot of people can play an important role in that uh, nutritional and lowering the the blood pressure or ever lowering the inflammation to to help reduce their pain. So uh, I very very much uh, respect that uh, th that approach, and just kind of as a whole how your company approaches it. I think it's a very uh, um, yeah, you, you, you guys are doing things right, and that's that's why I, you know refer people to you, and uh, why I'm uh, yeah yeah happy to to send people to get get advice from you. So very cool. Uh, let's see, any where, where can people actually? We'll we'll post the the links for for the website in the in the description. But in terms of social media or anything else that uh, you'd want to put out there to people in terms of where they can get more information or or check in with you. Well, we have um, a couple of different pages on Facebook, um, that's the main place that, that we really interact with, um, not only customers, but basically the whole world. So uh, we have a business page on Facebook, it's Quality Plus Essentials, um, and we also have a group page where we help educate uh, members about CBD. Um, 
people are asking about different ailments, about different products. So it's really interactive. Uh, everybody, you know, is, is in there chipping in, uh, giving information. Um, and that's CBD oil education. Okay. Uh, so if you are interested, um, look us up and we'll be happy to have you. Yeah, absolutely. And I cannot recommend people enough that are curious and want to learn more about it to uh, go to Quality Plus Essentials because you really do have that uh, you know, customer first approach as opposed to put the sale first. You really want to uh, understand them and make sure that they're, if they do get your product, that they're getting the right one and that they're using it correctly and just so they understand as a whole, you know, really how it works and give a fair, you know, accurate understanding as to, you know, what, uh, how it can potentially help them. So, yeah, you, you go ahead. Yeah, one more thing to add. Um, you brought up a good point. And one thing that I always tell people when I first start talking to them about CBD is, um, if you're on a limited income or um, don't have the money to spend, CBD is probably not right for you because uh, everybody has a therapeutic dose. And if you're not taking enough to reach your therapeutic dose, then it's probably not going to help you. So if you can't afford to take the product and take as much as you need, then you probably shouldn't start taking it. Okay. And that's one of the first thing that I tell people, um, because I don't want you to waste your money or your time putting all your hope into something that you're not going to be able to afford in the long run. Yeah. 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 I get it. We're respecting and putting put that out on, on the front end. Very nice. Any, any other final words for, for people with, with pain, neuropathy pain, or, uh, or anyone interested in CBD oil? to hearing from you. All right. If you have any questions. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Well, thank you very much for, for sharing your, your time and, and your knowledge with myself and all the viewers, Nicole, and thank you uh, everyone for, for watching. I really enjoy uh, kind of bringing this community together and, and just, you know, picking the minds of the people that really understand their, their niches and how it can help people with, with neuropathy and uh, yeah, I just really, really enjoy doing this. So uh, thanks again for watching, everyone. Do hit the subscribe button to be updated with future videos like this and other content that will give you the information to help you piece together your puzzle and so you know all the things that, that you need to do to get yourself better. And with that said, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure, and uh, we're recording this right around the holidays. So if you're watching this uh, during the holidays, happy holidays to you, and we'll see you all in the next video.